attention, please? May I have your attention, please? There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. There has been a fire alarm reported in the building. Please proceed to the stairways and exit the building. What's good, guys? It's your boy, Blah Lighting 4547. Today, I bring you another unboxing video. Let's go ahead and get started. The device is already here. I got this device on Wednesday. And yeah, so without further ado, we'll just go ahead and dive right into it. So, as you can see right here, I know you guys are able to tell, but it says Pyrotronics. Um, CDC 24, uh, 24 volts DC, okay, and then the catalog number, obviously, in Burge, or Beige, sorry, Beige, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop the, you know, it says, uh, CDC 24 on here as well, so, without further ado, I'll give you a quick insight, and look, let's go ahead and pull the device out. Ooh. So, obviously this is the mounting plate. As you can see, it mounts on a double gang and a single gang back box and probably an octagonal back box as well. A um, lot of options here. And obviously this is in a nice beige. Um, when I'm thinking beige is more white, but this is kind of like a, like a bronze kind of, I guess. Like bronze gold, maybe? Um... So yeah, it's a, it's a cool color though. It's a really cool, you know. It got it got some uh, metallic to it and stuff like that. So it's a pretty cool paint. So you have the chime itself. Okay, this is what it looks like in the front. You have your little bolt that holds this assembly on. You got your little chime bar with two bolts on the bottom of it to holding it to hold it in place. This is the side profile. Okay. Other side. I think these screws is meant to hold on to a, a gong um, or something in particular. Uh, don't know. Because, you know, my, you know, this is similar to my Simplex Twinout 29234 Hospital Single Stroke Chime, but this is a vibrating chime um, by Paratronics or a rebrand, obviously, by Paratronics. But, um, so yeah, so here's the back. You have two wire leads. Okay, positive and negative, real simplistic um, compared to the 9234 with its four wire leads. Okay, and um, yeah, so there's screws here. I'm going to take this back plate off so you can actually see the inner mechanism. So yes, like I said, I mentioned that this is a vibrating chime. So you have your little striker assembly right here. This nut or this screw right here will move this assembly up and down. Right is downwards, to the left is upwards. So if you, the chi if the striker is not making good enough contact with the uh, chime bar, um, you know you'll adjust it to the right. You know make more contact, or you can just if you wanted to have a little bit of more aggressive strike to that chime and make it a little bit more loud, you can also turn it to the uh the right. So I guess this can also be a volume screw as well. Um, as you can see, this is, you know, where your two leads come in. And, uh, this is right here is, um, is a adhesive wrap. <laughs> that's not even adhesed, um, that's not even, you know, heated up. But your diode is, uh, located in here. Um, we already talked about what a diode does. Like I said, it makes the current flow one way, hence having a positive and negative. And also this is how... A, uh, a fire alarm can be supervised on a NAC circuit. Um, so yeah, and then like I said, you got your coil right here, your spring right here. Like I said, this is a striker. And right here you have two contacts, basically. So this will, you know, when it's, you know, when it's powered and that magnetism is pulling this striker down, what it's doing is when it comes back up, it will make kind of like a little arc and it will like make a very, very, very fast switching. Yeah, it's basically a switching on and off circuit, basically. And so this will very, like, very rapidly, like, I can't even explain how fast it does it in, in, in time. But this, you know, every time it pulls this down and goes back up, 
and this is creating it on and off on contact and hence making it uh, do that fast um, to get the vibrating sound. Okay, so that's how this time works. And obviously on the inside is, you know, nothing much into uh, to it. You know, you just got this little uh, cover to um, go with, the, uh, 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 you know, over the screw. But yeah, you just put that on and then you have three, you know, screws to take that, you know, put this back on. So let me hold, go ahead and do that real quick. Boom, and just like that, back on in place. And like I said, that mechanism works basically the same way as the Wheelog uh, 46T G10 24WH um, that I have. And also the uh, the Edwards 439D 10AWC. Okay, so yeah, that's basically the whole overview of the device. There's nothing much to it. I don't think I showed you the label. So here's what the label looks like. You have your catalog number up here. And... Um, my computer screen just turned on, but um, obviously this pulls 70 milliamps, 24 volts of um, DC herds, direct current. Um, like I said, this is the frequency that what herds stands for, and um, you know, direct current and AC current, you know, uh, alternating current. That's what AC stands for. Is um a type of frequency. Okay, so. Yeah, so you got that. So, hence being a new unbox device, we obviously have documentation right here, right? So, let's go ahead and go over that real quick. Boom. So, it basically tells you, you like the mounting options and things like that. And see, like I said, this uh, could also have a gong, gong uh, for a bell on this assembly, too. Um you know their their chimes and their uh bells use the same assembly so yeah so this is what it looks like you know put it behind a uh a guard and then things like that and then yeah this is pretty much you know you know weatherproof back boxes standard four by four back boxes uh the trim plate uh single gain cc um like I said, this mounts on the single game back box as well. So yeah, you have a lot of uh, mounting options and and um, yeah. So and then you have two on the loops in here, and these are just basically your um, your mounting hardware. Um, there's actually like some wire nuts. Oops, that fell out. So yeah, you, um, this actually comes with uh, wire nuts. You know what I'm saying? As you can see in there, obviously you guys know what screws and stuff look like, so I'm not going to go real in-depth. It's probably the same in here. Oh, no, this is actually a plug. Yeah, that must be for the weatherproof back boxes and things like that. But, um, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? So, hope you guys enjoyed my Paratronics CDC 24 vibrating chime stroke or chime, sorry. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Black Lighting and peace out.